holiday vlog has commenced. We're at the airport now. It literally took like 10 minutes to get through security. It was meant to be the busiest day of the year so for flying from Bristol Airport. So it was literally fine, but we're just sat eating our breakfast. Um, I didn't. I literally only just realised Tosi told me that you can bring food to the airport. Did anyone else just not know that? I thought like they just chucked it extra out, but we're gonna sit and eat this and wait for our flights. We literally have ages till our flight. We have arrived after the flight. I was trying to sleep, but we couldn't because people it just wasn't a vibe to sleep. But Izzy slept the whole way. Um, we're at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> but at the hotel the room's actually good which is nice and the hotel the only things were literally right well it's not really an issue we did book it knowing this but we're literally right there's like a whole strip of bars down there and that's not really a vibe but this is nice <laughs> we're ready for our first night we're going to a shrine tonight to watch Calvin Harris and MK, who's excited? <laughs> we went to the supermarket earlier and we got this vodka and fanta and literally it's a cough medicine, but we're powering through because your girls could not afford 80 pound browns at Shwaya. But I need to show you my outfit, one second. I've got this um, jean corset on from Ego and then just some cycling shorts and my um sandals and izzy's got this stunning poly top on and shorts shorts and these shoes we're kind of scared for our feet that they're gonna die i mean we have got flats on but we've not worn these before so rip we just sent a picture to our mums <laughs> <It's a selfie>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right let's get the selfie up that we sent to our mums <laughs> best behavior <laughs> oh my god it's not facing on our absolute best behavior, moms. <laughs> <laughs> um, the drinking, we still, we literally need to drink. Whoa, our eyes look so blue, what the fuck? I look really pale when it's lighting. Maybe you don't, you're so tanned. Um, we seriously need to drink because we've got to leave in like 15 minutes. is the next morning now ashraya was so good last night it is literally what do you out of 10 is it nine and a half yeah nine and a half out of ten also it was there was lightning and it was raining but i feel like it just made it better because she looks so cool with the lightning and all of the lights and see the planes yeah the planes were so cool they were literally flying we i swear there was like five that flew over I know. Yeah, it was so good, but we're just gonna go get some breakfast now. I think we're gonna try to go to Bondi Cafe or I don't know what's called Bondi something. But yeah, we're gonna go there and then we've got Ocean Beach today. So that is the plan for now. We are ready for Ocean Beach now. Woohoo! We need to pre drink. I think we're gonna take them on the way, but we're gonna walk there so wish us luck because look at these things on my feet from my shoes. Absolutely not, but I'll vlog when I'm in that on my phone. We're in Burger King right now. I'm so drunk at Ocean Beach. But I'm so annoyed, right? I met, um, I don't know. <laughs> I've got my back I met Lucy Deitra and I got a picture of her. And she was so nice. And the picture deleted because I have no story. We're getting our Burger King now and then we're going to meet our friends to go back home. Hello everyone, um, we came back from Ocean Beach and then we just got some food and just chilling but our hotel keeps getting power cuts every two seconds and it's actually kind of fucking scary but we're just ready, getting ready to go out and meet our friends, I think, oh no, seriously what's going on, I think um, we're going to go to Lineker's and then, what was that other place you said was called? It, it's a, it's Aka? 
it's like I do not know what that is, but oh, it's back on, it's off. Right. Let me try vlog when it's not keep going power cuts. It is Sunday morning now. We went to Ibiza Rocks last night after Ocean Beach. I met our friends because they flew in yesterday. Um, I need to tell you about a situation that happened there later, but we're in a bit of a rush at the minute because we're going for breakfast. I think we're going to try go to the Skinny Kitchen, but the only thing is we're in like our beach stuff, so hopefully they'll let us in. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have a day at the beach. Then tonight we're going to Ibiza Old Town for some dinner, which will be nice. But yeah, that's what we're doing. We're literally having the best time. Just feeling slightly dead, but... <laughs> We're powering through. We're just getting ready to go out for dinner in Ibiza Old Town, but we thought we'd tell you what happened in Ibiza Rock yesterday because it was located a traumatizing experience. Um, so we were just in Ibiza Rock, just dancing, or whatever. Um, I wasn't even drunk, so I wasn't drinking because I felt so sick. So I got too drunk at Ocean Beach and then I was like sober but I was like hung over by the time we was going out so we was just like dancing with our friends because our friends landed there's like how many of them four five five so there's like six of us um last night and this like guy just kept coming behind us and like dancing but like really close like two centimeters away so we just kept moving away and then he kept coming back and i'm like fuck's sake how's he back again and like we were literally just kept turning our backs to him and just like w like moving away because he was just being like really he weird yeah he kept pushing us as well and we were just like right what the fuck why is he doing that for we just thought oh maybe he's just like just being a bit of a leech, being a bit of a weirdo, whatever. And then, literally, I swear this was for, like, an hour or an hour and a half. Like, he was still doing it. Like, he would go away and then come back, like, literally every ten minutes. And we were just like, what the hell? So, Izzy just said to him, like, you basically... What did you say? Just basically, like, what the fuck's your problem? Or, like, yeah, you were just... Like, what, like, just what, like, what are you... Like, now, what are you like, doing? Like, just go away. And then he got a bit offended by that. And then he went away and then he came back again and started dancing again like right next to us and we were like fuck sake how's he back again and then um we just left it for a bit and then he kept coming back again and again and then one of our just friends angry and angry, yeah like. then one of our friends literally shouted at him being like what are you doing like just go away we've told you loads of time just leave us alone just like stop and then he was like getting really angry and shouting back at her but he was just like getting really really angry and then he went away and then he came back and like the the like group just like like the what would you say like the crowd yeah the crowd like where we was dancing they just like split and it was literally just our group and that man <laughs> that man was literally screaming at our friend and shouting at us and he kicked her literally like went to kick her luckily she moved out the way he was literally about to start a fight with us i swear i literally thought he was going to beat us up and usually when i said that i just think oh he's just a fucking weirdo like whatever but i literally thought he was going to get beat up i was actually scared like, it was actually really scary. And then the security came and got him, finally. And then I think he was kicking off at them. So they, like, rub rugby tackled him to the floor and, like, chucked him out. And then he came back in. He was hugging the bouncer and he came back in. And when we, then we were just like, all oh, right, we're going to leave. And I was a bit scared to leave because I thought, what if he's literally going to follow us out of here? Because he literally is so angry at us and is, like, going to beat us up. Um, and... Then when we were leaving, my friend goes to the security, she was just like, you do know he's just tried to um, beat us up and then you've just let him back in. And he goes, yeah, I know. So I don't fucking know what that is, but no I'd be for rock security, you're. you're fucking shit. So yeah, nice one. It's just so annoying. Like, why can we not just go out without just, but yeah, that's a traumatizing story of last night. And then we was walking home and I was like pranging out like he was like following us. So yeah, that was fun, um, but he didn't follow us and we were all fine in the end. But yeah, I, I just thought like hopefully the bouncers on security would actually help us in a way, but obviously not. They obviously thought, fuck that. He's getting let back in, so yeah. But that was the story That's of last second, night. second fight of the second night. Literally, the first night. Did we tell him about the disco bus or did we not? I don't know. I literally can't remember. <laughs> anyway, if not... <laughs> We got on the disco bus on the way back from um, Ashwaya 
and there was literally girls like fighting to get onto this bus I got elbowed in the nose like there was literally people like this one girl was crying like there was literally like absolutely feral just to get on this bus and I thought we're only getting on a bus like, another bus is gonna come they literally run all night and yeah I was literally like pulled in the crowd someone was trying to fight Izzy I got elbowed it was it was not a good situation but yeah that's the fun stories of Ibiza so far apart from that it's actually all good that's that's making me sound like it's shit. Oh, we're going for a nice meal. So. Yeah, we're going for a nice civilized meal. Hopefully no more fights tonight. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, I'll speak to you when we're ready. Bye. We are ready. Oh, no, I've got no battery. We're ready for dinner now. I'll vlog on my phone when we get there. just had dinner at La Olivia's. It was so nice. Was I'd literally nice. give it a 10. It was so nice. And the staff were really nice. But we're just going to go, I think we're going to go look around some of the shops and then go for a drink somewhere. Watch the sunset. Wholesome Ibiza days. back and relax and enjoy our eating and all of a sudden, no joking, we just ordered some white sangria and Izzy's not sure if she likes I don't like wine so, oh thanks. We're gonna I'm try sorry, it we're meant to be seeing the sunset but this is our view, <laughs> <laughs> Also, I don't even think the um, sunset is this way, I'm not gonna lie. I think we've been conned. <laughs> How cute though. Wow. Wow, so cute. Ah. We're at, um, what's it called? Bamboo Koo. Bamboo Koo now. We should come for a rest and recovery day before our flight because we're flying home at like, flights at 12am. But we've just ordered some food. It's so cute here. But like we need a chill day. But it took us literally ages to try and find anywhere, like a beach club where you can just walk in that isn't like 500 euros and isn't fully booked. So... Maybe just PSA if you're coming to Ibiza, remember that. But I'll show you it. No, it's not. Oh, no. I don't even know where my fan's gone. So cute. Just coming in to end the vlog because I know it ended a bit abruptly um my camera died and I also had no storage left on my phone so I couldn't really vlog that much but after um Bambuku we just went to our hotel to get our stuff and then we went to the airport so you really didn't miss out on much but I thought I'd just do a little review of the places we went to if anyone's looking to go to Ibiza for the first time or wondering what's worth it what's not um so Ushuaia was literally 10 out of 10 I would 100% go there if you can the tickets are quite expensive I think we paid like 80 euros because we brought them before we went so it was pretty pricey but it was so worth it the only thing I would say is if you like hate like crowds and being really close together don't go because you're not gonna like it it's literally so packed together like I feel like they must oversell tickets for it so much because there's so many people but we went a little bit further back and it wasn't as bad there but it is still just so busy um also I would try a pre-drink if you go there because the drinks are literally extortionate prices. But I literally loved that so much. Definitely go there. The next place we went to was Ocean Beach and literally had the best time. I would 100% go back there. The drinks I didn't think were that expensive. I think we paid about 13 euros for a cocktail, which I didn't think was that bad because I feel like it's not really that different to English prices. I feel like you pay like £10 for a cocktail anyway in England, but it was so worth it. The only thing I wish we did do is I wish that we got a bed, but because there's only two of us, it's just so much money when there's not that many people but if you had like a group if you go in i feel like it would definitely be worth it and like get food there and stuff it just means you can stay there a bit longer because by the end um we just wanted to sit down for a bit and there's not that many places to sit down there if you don't have a bed um but it was literally so good it was so fun the music was so good like i just loved it it was just good vibes 
Um, and the only thing I wish we could do is stay there into the evening because I didn't realise how long it goes on. I thought it ends at like six-ish because we were going to meet our friends anyway. So we wanted to leave a little bit earlier to get ready for that. But yeah, I wish we did stay into the evening a bit. I would definitely recommend to go to the Old Town for dinner. That restaurant we went to was so good and it's just so pretty there. It's like so different to San Antonio, like where we stayed in on the party bit. It's just like so, so pretty. And yeah, I would definitely go there if you're going to Ibiza and want more of like a chilled evening one night because I could not hack drinking every single night. Then the other place we went to was Bambuku Beach Club and that's right next to Ocean Beach and it was so nice like the food was absolutely unreal and it's like a minimum spend. I think we paid 10 euros each for a bed and then I think it was 40 euros minimum spend but we just got like loads of food and smoothies and drinks and the food was so good so I definitely recommend going there if you're more of like a chilled day and they've got a pool there and it's all like fake sand so it's like you're on the beach but a bit nicer because you don't have to go from like the sea to the sand and yeah but I loved it there I'd definitely go back I think you can also go for like a family day. There was some kids there. So I think they do like family stuff there too. But I loved that. Those were sort of the main places we went to. Um, but yeah, I literally had the best time. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I know it was a bit random. Some of it was filmed on my phone. So apologies for that. But I was just trying to have the best time while trying to remember to vlog but yes thank you so much for watching if you want to know anything else or any more recommendations of where we went or any questions just let me know in the comments below or message me on instagram and i'll definitely get back to you thanks for watching and i'll speak to you in the next video